So you want to fry your eyeballs. What's up y'all, it's your girl Alicia coming back at you again with another video and today we are celebrating the one year anniversary of my LASIK eye surgery. So the exact date of my procedure was June 9th of 2017, so it fell on a Friday last year and it is a Saturday this year, so I have to do my one year post op. Um, but before we get into that, just to give you some quick hair details, uh, this wig is a, I'm going to call it a closure, a lace closure wig from Hot Beauty Hair. I can leave the link in the description box below. Um, it, when it came, it did have like a silk lining sewn under it, but I wasn't feeling it at all, so I cut it out and... So we're just gonna call this a lace closure wig. Um, I did color the hair myself. So if you want any information on how I achieve this color without bleaching the hair, uh, feel free to let me know and I will surely get that to you. But back to the matter at hand. Oh, before I start, just in case. Uh, so I continuously look down. I'm recording with my phone. So I have like my sticky notes so I stay organized and give you guys all the information as to my experience so you can make the decision as to whether or not you want to go through with it or hey just celebrate with me um because i am happy and it is the greatest thing i ever did with my life okay not the greatest but it is a great thing that i did with my life and i'm very happy with it so today i will um talk to you guys about the consultation the financing process um the day of my surgery uh questions that i get pretty often from like my coworkers or just anyone who finds out that i've done it and then just how i feel 365 days later so Let's get into it. All right, y'all, so starting with, with the consultation, it is two hours long. It literally is. Mine was like about an hour and 50 minutes. Yes, I timed it because when I read online that it was that long, I'm like, how many exams can you do on my eyes? I've been to the eye doctor all my life. I think I started wearing glasses when I was like 12 or something. An eye exam might take half an hour if they find something wrong with you, but like, why am I here for two hours? It literally is two hours and it's not just waiting. There's small waits in between, but you see at least four or five different, you went to like four or five different rooms to take different tests. They like test the the, um, the circumference of your eyeball, the, the thickness of your cornea, to just a bunch of things to make sure that you're eligible for the surgery. And I was kind of ignorant too before because I'm just like, y'all is just wasting time, but it actually is very important because not everyone is eligible and they give you, um, two options at the end depending on what the results of all those tests are so very important um consultations free which is the greatest part you know i'm gonna just pause right here for a second um i took someone with me because i was nervous going into the consultation um that individual is my boyfriend and he is yeah, we're not even going to name that right now. But just a uh, heads up, if you have really bad eyes, the way I didn't have really bad eyes, but I just really couldn't see. This man, we fully in one of the one of the um, rooms where, you know, you cover one eye and they make you like read out the list of the letters and stuff. And she flipped it and it was apparently a big, like a huge E. Like there was, it was at the top biggest letter. It was an E. And I was being honest, I'm like, I see the three lines, but I can't see the one that connects, but I'm assuming it's an E. This man wants to enter the doctor and be like, you really can't see that? Don't take disrespectful individuals to your consultation, because to this day, he does not let that go. But yeah, so that's just a little side story. Um, so yeah, consultation, about two hours long, and at the end of it, you sit down um, in the room with the finance people, and they give you your options. And so with LASIK, you have two options essentially. And one is the standard LASIK, and then the other one is advanced custom wavefront LASIK. Um, so the difference between the two, as it was explained to me, is the the circumference in which the the procedure covers. So with me, I have very big pupils. And so I had to go with the custom, so the newer, the newer surgery, because if I had went with the standard, it wouldn't cover, it wouldn't cover the my total pupil at nighttime. Because you know, at nighttime, you know, those bad boys get bigger. I would still have like a blurry outer layer, which defeats the purpose. Prof, prof, 
purpose, sorry, so it defeats the purpose of getting the surgery done because the whole point is to be able to see at all times without any hindrance. So I went ahead with the Advanced Custom Wave Front LASIK. So I will give you the two different quotes that I got for both of them. So I keep everything, everything. All right, so for standard, I was quoted $2,930 and then for the custom one that I ended up having to go with, it was $4,130. Now, playing with my eyes is something that I'm not about. And so if I'm gonna do something this grand, I'm gonna do it properly. So I went ahead and picked the four the four thousand one hundred and thirty dollar option and because it was it was just gonna be more beneficial for me. I do a lot of nighttime driving, I don't know about y'all. I am still in the party scene, and you know your girl gotta be what is it, Dee Dee? See, you know how often I'm not Dee Dee because I don't even know. But yeah, so you know, nighttime driving, just getting around, I don't want any issues. So I went ahead and spent the extra bit of change. It's gonna be good for how long? And so went ahead and did that. On that day in the office, after she gave me my two options, I also scheduled I also scheduled my appointment for January 30th with Dr. Munir Bashur. Boom, I told you I keep everything. Uh, yeah, so with him, over 80,000 LASIK procedures. You can choose, you can choose your surgeon. Honestly, they give you their credentials, how long they've been doing it. Um, how many procedures they've had, where they went to school, what they what um what they got their degrees in, like everything. You're basically interviewing your doctor. So for some people, it helps put them at ease when they're trying to choose these things. Um, when you know how accomplished, in a sense, your doctor is, it might put some people more at ease. I personally, if they're allowing you to work in, I went to LASIK MD by the way. If they're allowing you to work in, um. Uh, this type of field with such a renowned name you better have credentials to put forth so i didn't have i didn't go through doctor after doctor it's just when i was in there she gave me the name of this guy and apparently he's like one of the best of the best at least in canada i am in toronto canada um so one of the best of the best in canada and he doesn't come to the location that i went to which i went to the location in mississauga lasik md mississauga at 5025 orbiter drive um, so he doesn't come to that location very often. I think it's like once a month or once every month. So she's like, if you can do it with him, book with him. So I'm like, boom, book it. I'll talk to my workplace later and like try and get the day off. Like, it's fine. I think I booked it either a month or two in advance. I went sometime in December for my consultation. So this was like a month or two in advance. I'm like, it shouldn't be a problem. Book it. We're good. So the one thing they don't do for you is they don't call um, the financing to see if you qualify. So if you have the money on hand, great. Kudos, go for it. Um, I somewhat messed up. My work has like a flex plan where they give you a certain sum of money and you can allocate it to either like um, massages, add to your dental plan, add to any type of medical plan, things like this, or you can just any type of aesthetic because this isn't technically necessary. It's more of a y'all know what the word is. It's just I'm it's the extra stuff that isn't necessary. So I allocated a certain amount to it, assuming that. The standard price was just what the procedure was and then mine turned out to be more. So I'm just like, I don't have this money on deck, so I'm gonna call these people for financing. Funny enough, super short story, when I called these people um, for the financing, I was actually rejected the first time, which I was highly offended because these people wanted to tell me if you have a co-signer, we, we can review this for you again. Mind you, I work in the credit field. I look at credit for a living right now. And I'm just like, sis, you don't even know what you're talking about right now and how it looked to ask someone to finance your eyes. It's just like, babe, um, you, you want to help me get these eyes real quick? And then if you ever need eyes, I'm a, I got you back, right? <clears throat> no. Um, so I let that go. And funny enough, the month after I bought a car, I financed the car no issues that was auto approved and then i called them back after i had the car which adds more to your debt servicing level and they approved me mind you i got rejected when it was zero percent financing and then got approved when it was at i don't even know what my financing at but it's like 6.29 or something like it's not ridiculous but it's just like hmm okay so yeah so that is the financing process now moving on to the day of the procedure 
believe it or not, you were actually there for a way shorter period of time than you were there for your consultation. Um, so when you go in, you actually go in and sign your life away. Um, they are paperwork after paperwork saying they're not responsible. So essentially they're not responsible if something goes wrong with the procedure afterhand. Um, they are not guaranteeing 100% results. They, they basically make you sign away any type of liability that you might try and sue them for. So that kind of made me, hmm. But I was already sold on the idea and I was like, I'm doing it, I'm doing it. So I signed those papers. Um, for those of you that are nervous, they actually offer you a mild, was it per, they, ask, they offer you a mild dosage of like Percocet or something like that. And I'm just like, nah, I'm good. So for the actual procedure, believe it or not, it is 10 minutes, 10 minutes and you can see 10 minutes, $4,000 later and you can see, um, so things to be aware of when you go in, so you're lying back. Um, believe it or not, as a part of one of the questions I'm asked the most, they're like, yeah, they put you to sleep, right? No. For anyone who doesn't know, when you go to sleep, your eyes roll to the back of your head, which defeats the purpose because they need your eyeballs for in the front. So you are wide awake seeing everything as they cut. That, I'm going to get into that. So you're lying back on the bed. The, um, the doctor and my amazing surgeon was Dr. Keon Nia. So if you're in the Mississauga area and you go to LASIK MD Mississauga, I definitely recommend Dr. Keon Nia. He was wonderful. Um, so you're lying back on the bed. Um, they have they do one eye at a time. So they'll tape one eye closed and then they'll open one eye. And there is like a tool they put in your eye that basically, one, it keeps the eye open. And two, it literally is like suction on you. Like it it goes around your eyeball. So you feel the, t the pressure on your eyeball. And then... You feel suction, like it's like they're trying to suck your eyeball out. And then hopefully I don't scare anyone because it it sounds weirder than it feels when you're in the situation. It's kind of like an outer body experience because they numb your eyeballs before you go in. Like I didn't feel anything, but I saw everything in a sense. So like you see them cutting back the first layer and then they peel it back. And then the only thing that you have to brace yourself for, I actually have to hold my breath, is the smell when the laser turns on to reshape your cornea. Um, that smell, I actually wasn't shocked by it because my girl had actually, um, played for me a podcast where someone, I can't remember what the name of the podcast was, but they had a guest on who just recently had his surgery and he explained, he called it, it smelled like burnt hot dogs. And I don't know if I would describe it as the same, but I know it was a disgusting smell. And, but it's literally about 10 seconds. So all I had to do is I held, once it started and I smelt it, I held my breath, 10 seconds, not gonna kill you, held my breath and then that part was over. They peel it back, tape that eye closed, move on to the next one, same exact procedure. So the smell is literally the worst part about it. They give you stress balls. So if you are nervous, you can like squeeze those balls while, while that's going on. Um, I mean, as I said, within 10 minutes, you can see, but then they do tape both your eyes closed and put you in a dark room and then administer your first set of eye drops. There are like three sets that they give you and you have to continue the schedule when you get home, but they'll start the first sets and leave you in that dark room. And then you get your sun and shades on, which you had to wear for three days. They're not as cute as this. They give you some ugly pair. I only wore those. I'm going to be honest. I only wore them for the first day. And then after that, I wore these for like two days straight. You even got to wear sunglasses when you sleep. And so if you got a comfortable pair that are dark as hell, go for it, sis. More power to you. Um, and that's literally your procedure. Um, just want to make sure I covered everything. So yeah, you are awake. Five minutes per eye. Way shorter than the consult. Um, you can actually see. People ask me like how how long till you were able to see. Did they have to wait till you took off your? Life? You can actually see. They just tell you like to stay away from phones, computers, TV, all that stuff. So I lit I couldn't even read. I literally just I slept. I ate and I slept for like the first complete day, and then the second day. You know what? You can okay. So you can see the exact same day. They just tell you to stay away from these things, and then the second day you do have a one day um post op exam just to see how it's healing. Um. I was healing pretty good. I got I got someone to drive me there. Um, oh, you have to have someone pick you up from your surgery. They will not let you go and you cannot drive the first day. But um, I had someone drive me there for my one day post-op and I got cleared. Everything was good. Everything started healing fine already. So I got dropped back home, 
took a nap and then uh, your girl was offered free food um it was my girl's birthday so she was having a barbecue and then um at my brother's house they were also cooking so i was just like that's lunch and dinner so your girl got up jumped in the whip and went for food and i was able to drive everything was fine they tell you to try and stay away from nighttime driving so i kind of left the functions early but i still left with to-go plates so everything was a1 um and i think that is it so how i feel today 165 ooh, 365 days later i have had absolutely no incidents i didn't have headaches that some people that some people say they might have um no headaches no random blurriness no i have had absolutely no issues with this surgery which is why i am so happy i wake up in the morning i can see see there's no more of the fumbling on the nightstand and knocking my glasses off and then getting on the floor and trying not to crush them and all that other stuff the 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 nose pieces digging into my face and then taking them off and having it's just a mess there's no more of that i am free um i'd honestly recommend if you are unsure the consultation is 100 percent free go get it talk to people ask questions if you have any other questions for me i think i covered everything but if there's anything you personally want to know that i didn't answer um feel free to leave a comment below and i will definitely tell you anything you want to know um as long as i know um and yeah so that's ooh, your girl is hungry so that is about it uh comment like subscribe tell me how your experience was if you've had it um as i said any other questions if you haven't the girl is about to go get some food but Make sure you subscribe to my channel. There's much more to come. Support the process and trust the growth.